All right, let me make this video really quick for y'all. I've been getting a lot of comments and DMs asking me how long VM is going to be in jail for, and that really depends on how good of a lawyer he gets and how nice the judge is. We're going to look at each charge he has. The first charge is from 2018 for making a false statement. VM was trying to buy a gun, and when they asked if he had a criminal history on the paperwork, he said no, you can't do that. The punishment for this is up to 10 years in prison, so he had a warrant for this charge back in 2018 and he just skipped town that's why he's not allowed to bond out of jail because they know he's just going to go on the run maybe if he was still in california they'd let him run and keep in mind he got arrested in california for throwing a water bottle at his girlfriend and he has another pending charge in california for messing with minors when all this was happening vm actually made a video saying he might leave town because he doesn't want to face the consequences and they ended up giving him community service um this is some advice i want advice from y'all i want to i got some court order things to do in la like i have to go take some classes and do like labor for just some stupid charge you know what i'm saying and i don't feel like doing it i feel like leaving the state um y'all think that's a good idea it's always better to just face the charge and get the time over with, because if you skip town, that means you can never go back there. VM was dumb enough to go back to the town he had a warrant in, and he filmed himself maliciously wounding somebody. One of the charges is malicious wounding. Either VM or his brother put a gash on this guy's head. And you know that Tory Lanez got like 20 years for shooting Megan in the foot? Here's the thing. If you use a weapon on somebody and leave a wound, you're screwed. The charge for that is 5 to 10 years. The next charge, and this might be the only one he could beat, that's abduction by force and intimidation. Supposedly, they took this guy walking his dog, they brought him into a car, which is abduction, and I think that's where they started cutting up his head. This charge is one to three years. The last charge is assault or battery by mob. That's when more than one person assaults a single person. He's not going to beat this charge because he was dumb enough to film him and his brother attacking a man walking his dog. This charge is six months to a year. So overall, he's facing between 7 and 24 years. He could have avoided prison if he just didn't film the crime he committed. Without that footage, VM could have claimed that he didn't touch the guy at all, or he could have said that the other guy started it and they really can't prove anything. But no, we have clear footage of this guy walking his dog and VM and his brother are harassing him. He's just trying to go home and they start assaulting him while the dog is in the guy's arms. It's just flat out obnoxious to do something like that. I don't think the judge is going to have any sympathy, especially since VM has a history of abusing women, sexting minors, and mobbing people. It's possible he could get the sentence cut down to like a year, but that's only if he has a really good lawyer, and apparently he has a legal team. I'm gonna keep it all the way at that wow. There's this one YouTube account called Famous Criminals. I'm not gonna tag his Instagram. Uh, he's getting dummy clout. Famous Criminals. First of all, don't incriminate me. You're making up all these rumors about me. Go take his YouTube down. I'm about to get my legal team on it. All the money you've made for falsely incriminating me and also... um defaming me we coming for that uh y'all go take down his youtube famous criminal to afford a lawyer this fool is probably gonna have to sell his chains if he hasn't already his girlfriend was on instagram live saying that he's probably just gonna use a public defender vm also might have to go to immigration detention he fears that he might be deported to el salvador now let me give you my opinion. When you hear about people getting deported, those are usually people here illegally, people who overstayed their student visas or whatever. If you're a US citizen that was born in another country, then it's pretty hard to get deported. You gotta steal a car, you gotta get attempted murder, you gotta get a rape charge. I know foreign born citizens that have done years in jail without getting deported. Now the hearing is going to be on March 7th. It's safe to say that he's probably going to be gone for a while. And when he comes back, he'll be on probation. Yeah, just don't film yourself committing crimes. Anyway, I'm out.